the ancient sport of sumo, a 2,000-year-old ritual performed by the biggest Japanese professional sportsmen clashing in the wrestling ring. But today, some of the world's most renowned professional figure skaters square off on the ice rink. These men, giants in their own sport, compete not with brute strength, but explosive power and a flair for the dramatic. And it all takes place in the shadows of the Tokyo skyline here at Yoyogi Stadium. We're inside. A capacity crowd is on hand as we continue our coverage of the Fresh Look World Challenge of Champions with the men's competition. I'm Terry Gannon along with John Misha Petkovic as these skaters compete for a total purse of $320,000, the winner taking home $40,000. And first to skate, 30-year-old American Paul Wiley, the defending champion of this event, and a silver medalist from the 1992 Olympic Games. to the music from the movie The Mission, which he says is very meaningful, represents being true to yourself. He's always been a bit of a perfectionist, and Misha, at times, that's come back to haunt him, places so much pressure on himself. As an amateur, he had a great deal of difficulty maintaining his confidence level, and it affected his performances until 1992, when he put it all together to win the silver medal at the Olympics. And that changed his skating life from then on.
skater not only does great jumps, but also great spins. Watch the speed of this spin. performance that certainly sets a very tough standard for the remaining skaters. American Paul Wiley with fans even here in Tokyo and he is as elated with that performance as they are and he should be. Could not have expected to skate much better than that. A clean solid performance that will be tough to match. And let's take a look at that triple axle again. Watch the height. This was very well done. He's nice and tight in the air and Watch how quickly he brings back his left foot and opens up to check the rotation. And here's the triple let he accomplished. Very well done. So Paul Wiley extremely happy with that opening program today. And his technical marks very high in uniform. Nine nines across the board. Well, there are two things here. One is he was a little tentative, and two, he's the first skater, so that probably prevented him from getting ten. Artistic impression, even higher marks. Nine nines and a perfect ten. Well, I have to say, I think those marks could have been higher. That was a wonderfully choreographed program. It was skated beautifully to the music, and it was just a great overall performance. And what a terrific way to start this men's event here in Tokyo. Hello again, everyone. Glad you could join us for the men's competition here at Yoyogi Stadium. I'm Terry Gannon, along with former national champion John Misha Petkovic. And Misha, we've already seen Paul Wiley skate, but today... He's a part of a group of skaters that, for the most part, know each other very well and have skated against each other many times. That's true, Terry, and the story is not complete, of course, until the other three skate. For Paul Wiley, as the defending champion, it's his to lose. The three challengers, on the other hand, have nothing to lose and everything to gain. The charming and innovative Victor Petrenko has yet to leverage his successful but somewhat roller coaster like amateur career into a major statement as a professional. Kurt Browning this year has suffered through a disappointing first year as a professional and hopes to turn this, his last major competition of the season, into a golden ending befitting his world-class technical skill. And finally, the local favorite here in Tokyo and a daring jumper, Mazakazu Kageyama, will take his first step into the professional limelight. Each has many reasons to win and all want what can belong to only one. And coming up next, a very relaxed and confident Victor Petrenko of the Ukraine. Victor Petrenko, the heartthrob of many young skating fans getting ready to skate, along with the local favorite Mazakazu Kageyama, who took Petrenko out to play Pachinko, which started off a little confusing. No, Pachinko. Pachinko. No, no, Pachinko. 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 We'll see. Yeah. Pachinko is a form of gambling that crosses slot machines with pinball. Once these two got the name straight, they headed inside, sat down to try this game. Now, you would think Victor would be an expert at gambling. He has a house in Las Vegas, but in this case, he was the pupil. Matsukazu fashions himself a semi-professional in Pachinko, and he taught Victor the entire night the finer points of this Japanese game. And back on the ice, in a sport in which he is truly an expert, Ukrainian Victor Petrenko. And his best year as an amateur in 1992 when he captured an Olympic gold medal and went on to win the world championships. And he must go a long way to meet the standards set by Paul Wiley here today. This is only one style of choreography which we can see Victor Petrenko in, and he does it exceptionally well. He's opening up with his most difficult jump, the triple axel. And of course, you remember that Paul Wiley nailed it. And followed by a triple toe. Very well done. that 
Schuster turned professional after the 92 World Championship and was reinstated as an eligible skater for the 94 Olympic Games in Lillehammer, where he finished fourth. He now lives in Connecticut with his wife, Nina, and trains with his coach, Galina Zmiavskaya, who also happens to be his mother-in-law. Well, Terry, we saw those marks for Paul Wiley, all 9.9 for both artistic impression and technical merit. The judges leaving room for the next three skaters. And now we have Victor Petrenko walking onto the ice in that fat context and having a shot at first place. Petrenko looking very confident. In your opinion right now, is it the type of program that could overtake Paul Wiley? It, it certainly is, and there's a triple flip. You know, it's got choreography. It's a harmonious program. He's skating with style, with confidence, and he's nailing the jumps. A little rough on that landing, the triple loop, and it might come down to things as simple and as fine a point as that. And after Wiley's performance, there is not much margin for error. Ukrainian Viktor Petrenko improvising and reaching down deep for a little extra in a program that just may be good enough to capture the championship. And we will be back to Tokyo to check the scores of Viktor Petrenko right after this. Well, that was absolutely a wonderful performance. And let's take a look at the triple sow cow. Watch how perfect this jump is. This was one of the wonderful triples that he put into this program, although he bent forward a little bit, but captured it. And the triple axle, this was incredible. Look at the height and how tight he is with a wonderful landing edge. And as we check his scores, Petrenko has achieved technical perfection, all 10. I'm not at all surprised. As we said, he put it all together in this performance. Not only did he have great jumps, but he had great spins, and the program was very difficult choreographically. And artistic impression marks just a bit lower than that, three tens, and the rest, nine nine. Well, it was a very well-skated performance. I think if he hadn't bobbled on a couple of landings, he would have gotten tens across the board. And that total of 99.7, good enough to overtake Paul Wiley. And, and here is the four-time world champion, 28-year-old Canadian Kurt Browning who needs a near-perfect performance to overtake Victor Petrenko. And this is going to be an interesting contrast. We had two serious numbers, one from Paul Wiley and one from Victor Petrenko. And now we see Kurt Browning take the ice with a rather humorous program, one with a lot of fun and opening up with the triple axle. Oh, a little shaky on that landing. Given that he's had trouble with that jump all season, he shouldn't be too disappointed with that one. Triple loop. Oh, that was beautiful. Lisa, you mentioned the program is dancing to Bluesberry Hill by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And one of the things he wanted to do was to get the crowd into it right away, and he's done that. Oh. Browning a four-time world champion, but the one thing that's missing from his medal, an Olympic medal. 
back injury in 1992. He finished a disappointing sixth and a very disappointing fifth in the 94 Olympics. <laughs> you got to give him credit for that. Bird having a lot of fun drilling the crowd with his footwork. He's a little tired. It's, his stroking is a little strange. Nice double axle, but almost loses his balance right there. And <laughs> Indian Kurt Browning with a lighthearted program, complete with a fall that may have endeared him even more to these Japanese fans. It may very well have done that, Terry, but unfortunately it might have also taken him out of the running. There were a number of imperfections in that program that could have hurt his chances for a number one placement. He may not win, but he's won a few hearts here in Tokyo today. We'll take a look at Kurt Browning's scores when we return. Brett, Kurt Browning settles in, flowers in hand after an exhaustive program. He takes a nasty spill, but he makes a valiant comeback, losing his footing right about here and then making the most of it. He does indeed, and you know, you have to give him credit as a true pro. He gets up and carries on and converts it into a humorous event. Making the most of a bad situation, and Kurt Browning receiving his technical merit marks pretty good, 9 eighths and 9 nine. Not bad, but certainly not enough to overtake Petrenko and Wiley. And for artistic impression, look at these. Nine eights, nine nines, and even two tens. Well, it was a lively performance and a humorous one, but I don't think it deserved two tens. And his total of 98.7 currently places Kurt Browning in third behind Victor Petrenko and Paul Wiley. Our final skater to take the ice, 23-year-old Masakazu Kageyama of Japan, making his professional debut. a favorite here in Tokyo, stepping for the first time into the professional competition ranks, opening up with a triple flip. He may not do every jump perfectly, but watch the height. He will fly. Triple axel. Magnificent. Kageyama, who finished 12th in the Olympics and 6th in the World Championships last year. But he's feeling the ice much better now. He's not just a jumper in his mind. Triple toe roof coming up. Ah, beautiful.
Misha, how intimidating must it be, though, for a 23-year-old man with all the pressure here at home to follow the names that he has to follow? Well, I think it's got to be really tough. I think what he's focusing on here is the underpinning of his program, which are the technical elements. And even if you look at the choreography, you see his choreography doesn't have the finesse, refinement, or plurality of someone like Victor Petrenko. It's all sort of directed towards the next jump, like this triple loop. That entire footwork was leading up to what was a beautiful triple loop. But, Terry, I have to say, he's skating with incredible confidence. It's a surprise. He's skating better than he did all week in practice. Mm -hmm. Triple left. <laughs> now that's a high triple left. He must need the crowd. with some of the best professional figure skaters in the world and he puts it together he's got to be very very proud of that performance and we saw for the first time today a smile perhaps one of relief appear on the face of Mazakazu Kageyama and let's take a look again at that triple let's look how high this jump is oh he just sails through that that was magnificently executed and Kageyama with scores in technical merit of 9-8 and 9-9. Very good. Uh, they were very good. And I think, aside from the fact that he had a few bobbles, they would have been much higher. And his artistic impression mark ranged from 9-7 to 9-8. Again, a little lower, but that's because all of the choreography leads into the technical elements. And with a total of 98, this future Japanese star places fourth. And so, Victor Petrenko pulls out all the stops to win. Wiley, skating extremely well, finishes second, Browning is third, and Kageyama fourth. Terry is down with our champion. Victor Paul Wiley opened up the show today with an incredible performance. Did you think you had the type of program that you could come back and beat him? Well, I haven't seen him skating, but I heard the marks, and it was high, and I knew he did a wonderful job. Well, I wasn't expect, you know, to skate like that, because... You know, it's type of competition, but I went through my mind and I did 100% my program and uh, it couldn't be better. When did you decide to put in the second triple axle? Well, I would say right before the jump because uh, I supposed to do double, but I feel like I can go for the triple and I went for it. And I'm glad I did it and just make me so excited. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So a diverse group of skating stars once again display this sport's individuality from its powerful leaps and youthful talent to its lighthearted side of simple entertainment. The experience and grace of a wily veteran, bested today only by extreme confidence and daring. For John Misha Petkovich, I'm Terry Gannon. So long from Tokyo.